the movie begins a PhD candidate Kate Dubiesky, on a space station, spots what she thinks is a comet heading towards Earth. She invites her co-workers, including Professor Randall Mindy, her mentor, to join her in celebrating. But based on the readings they are getting, the two realize right away that the comet is much more dangerous than they had thought. Randall and Kate contact a number of government officials, including Dr. Teddy Oglethorpe, to spread the word that the comet is a planet killer and that it will demolish all life on Earth in six months. Although the stress of trying to meet with President Janie Orlean causes Kate to vomit, she turns to drugs as a coping mechanism. Randall, Kate, and Teddy have to wait until the following day to inform Janie and her chief and staff son Jason of the bad news after a fruitless night of trying to get Janie's time freed up. Even though Randall and Kate are exaggerating the serious impending threat, Janie and Jason don't seem to be concerned about it and don't see it as a real danger given that their statistics are not 100% certain. They won't exaggerate the danger posed by the comet, which Randall has dubbed Comet Dubiesky ever since Kate first noticed it, and they don't think it's a big deal. While Randall is married to June and has two adult sons who live at home, Kate is seen communicating with her boyfriend Philip, with whom she has a somewhat strained relationship because she doesn't want to spend time with his mother. Big tech company Bash is holding a presentation in Silicon Valley where CEO Peter Isherwell is introducing Lyft, the most recent version of his company. Lyft uses emotional intelligence to identify people's needs and appeal to them, which benefits the business by increasing sales. Peter is revealed to be a ruthless jerk as well. Brie Eve and T and Jack Bremer, two prominent television personalities, agree to an interview with Randall and Kate. Pop star Riley Bina is up to discuss her highly publicized split from fellow musician DJ Cello before they break the comet story. In a live chat, the couple makes amends, and Riley accepts Cello's marriage proposal. Following this, Randall and Kate go on air. While Randall is able to remain cool under pressure, Kate loses it in response to Brie and Jack's casual attitude towards the situation. Kate loudly announces to the audience that they will all die. Following the disastrous interview, Randall gains popularity due to his appearance, while Kate becomes a meme as a result of his doomsday cries annoying people. Both of them go back home. Randall and Kate are soon detained by FBI agents and brought to the White House to meet with Janie. It soon becomes apparent that she wants to use the comet to shift focus from the scandal to this one after she has been implicated in it. She consents to carry out a mission in which distinguished war hero Benedict Drask will lead a team that will destroy the comet outside of Earth's atmosphere. Since he starts appearing frequently on the show, Randall starts seeing Brie as news of the comet's impact and the major mission spreads. The nation watches as Benedict and his crew are sent into space in the direction of the comet. Peter summons Janie to the front of the room while she is meeting with Randall, Kate, Brie, Teddy, and other officials in the briefing room. The mission is effectively abandoned a short while later when Benedict and his crew appear to be leaving space and to be pulling back towards Earth. Peter had concluded from his readings that the comet can be a great source of wealth and material for the large corporations like his own to fuel their goods and services, so they are willing to allow the comet to strike in order to profit from it. Randall and Kate later meet with Janie and her staff. Although Bash and the other pro-comet companies think they can make money from the comet, Randall gets sucked into the media circus and becomes a puppet for them. Both Randall and Kate are embarrassed. Soon. A number of groups all over the nation begin to support the comet because they believe it will create jobs for the unemployed, while those arguing against it are viewed as the bad guys. Because they support comets, even Kate's parents don't want to deal with her. While Kate works at a supermarket and later hooks up with an anti-government activist named Yule, Randall keeps up his relationship with Bree and his work with the Orlean administration. Later, June confronts Randall and Bree about their relationship and hurls all of his various medications in their direction. Randall begins to change his mind when he learns that Peter is attempting to mine the comet using bash drones. He completely loses it on Brie and Jack's show, ranting about the Orlean administration and the general public's response to the whole situation. Brie breaks things off with Randall when he puts a bag on his head similar to what Kate did when she was taken into custody by the FBI. The comet will soon begin to enter Earth's atmosphere. Kate and Yule rejoin Randall after their reconciliation. People on both sides of the political spectrum try to cash in on the frenzy once the rest of the world learns about the comet and stupid internet trends like the launch challenge go viral. Devin Peters will also appear in a forthcoming film. A concert featuring Riley and Cello singing the ballad Just Look Up is hosted by Janie and her administration in defiance of Randall's advice to don't look up. While Randall and Kate try to enlist the aid of other countries, Janie and her staff secure funding from nations like China, India, and Russia in order to proceed with their mining mission. Randall gathers with his family, Kate, Teddy, 
and you'll for a final meal in amicable company as he has little time left and no chance of stopping things from happening. When the drones used to mine the comet start to malfunction or are destroyed, Janie and Peter understand their efforts were in vain. Randall receives a call from Janie informing him that there is space on a shuttle where all the wealthy people are congregating to escape the comet's impact in cryopods. Despite the fact that it is clear that Janie has forgotten Jason and is abandoning him to his fate, Randall declines and decides to stay with his loved ones. The comet quickly escapes the atmosphere of Earth and makes its way towards the surface. Before the comet's impact catches up with them and destroys all of Earth, Randall and the others consider how much they had in life. The survivors in the pod's land bear at a different Earth-like planet more than 22,000 years later. This planet is populated by mutant creatures, one of which starts to devour Janie. Well, that's all for today's video, we hope you enjoyed it, and please support us by subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notification for new videos every we post.